I got a haircut. So, we've reached the point in the video where I would offer some kind of elaborate excuse about where I've been for the past few months. But unfortunately, all I really have to say in my defense, college is hard. Sorry. All that really matters now is I am back home for the summer. Which means I am making videos again. And in an attempt to make up for my disappearance and hopefully win back your love, I'm doing nothing but requests all summer. So people, if you ask me to make something, I will make it. If I don't know how to make it, I'll learn how to make it. If it's not vegan already, I will veganize it. We'll see how that goes. So, you know the drill. Leave me comments with your requests and I will fulfill as many as I can before the summer is over. Today, on the Tofu Guru Show, I'm making tamales because they're awesome. First, I shall assemble a butternut squash and black bean filling. Start by peeling and dicing up one yellow onion. Next, peel and mince two large garlic cloves. Then finally dice one jalapeno pepper like so. Be sure to thoroughly wash your hands when you're done and do not touch your eyes, citizens. Add one to two tablespoons of corn or canola oil to a large frying pan. Then add the onions, garlic, and jalapeno pepper and sprinkle them liberally with coarse salt. Saute everything uncovered over medium heat. While that's going on, you can peel, de-seed, and dice your butternut squash. The squash I have here is actually a bit too much for the job, so I'm not going to use all of it. I like about 3-4 to four cups of diced squash total, but this ratio is entirely up to taste. When the onions have just become transparent, add the squash and continue cooking until it's softened. Next, add one can of black beans and two to three finely minced chipotle peppers, depending on how hot you like things. To make the dough, you'll need masa flour. Tamale dough recipes vary greatly, so I'm pretty much just following the instructions on the back of the bag here. First, blend together the masa flour and water. Then add two-thirds of a cup of vegetable shortening to a separate bowl and beat it with a hand mixer until it's fluffy. Add the shortening to the masa and water and beat it some more until you achieve a light, spongy, spreadable dough. Now find yourself some dried corn husks, cover them in water, and let them soak until they're completely pliable. To assemble your first tamale, dab the excess water off of a corn husk. Then spread a thin but even layer of dough in the center. Add just a bit of filling, use restraint, try not to overstuff it, and very carefully fold the tamale shut, encasing the filling in dough. You have several options for wrapping up your tamale at this point. I like to use cotton string because I'm a control freak. You could also use extra strands of corn husk or simply fold the thing in such a manner that it doesn't need to be tied shut. Google and trial and error can lead you to the technique that best suits your needs and level of dexterity. Once you finish your first tamale, continue until you run out of dough or filling or both. The tamales now need to be steamed. I have this nifty pop-out steamer thing that fits in the bottom of a large pot, but use whatever you have access to. Load the tamales vertically in the pot, like so. Cover them and bring the water to a boil. Steam them for 45 minutes to an hour. You will need to add more water at some point during the process so it doesn't boil away. When the tamales are finished, they should peel away easily from the corn husk. And a few out of the batch may explode. Don't feel bad, they still taste amazing. Yeah, like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like your purple-haired fairy godmother.